Hey, howdy, everyone. Moss Leader here. We're finally back in this little spot. Ah, uh, it's been too long. It really has. But I am very thankful and very glad that we're here. Mm, it feels good. It feels very, very good. Uh, suffice to say, it's been a bit of a rough patch in terms of just like, let's get things on time and I want to sleep. Which, um, kind of have been lately. Just, 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 I don't know what it is in particular, but... I'm guessing I may have too much estrogen in my system or something like that. I just been wanting to sleep a lot more and more. And it's like, oh my god. I love sleep. Sleep is the best, y'all. I love it so much. I like to think, in all honesty, that when I'm sleeping, like, I'm growing, you know. But I, it's, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I can't tell rightly so. Uh, regardless, it does feel pretty nice. Um, be getting a few comments here or there at work where uh, they say miss or things like that. I'm just like, mm. It's good stuff. It's good stuff right there. Makes me very, very happy. Um, of course, I still get the usual sir and whatnot. Not the funnest thing in the world, most definitely. But I will say this much. Um, I'm finally starting to get things on track again. Once again, um, these little babies right here, um, they're all super dirty and everything. God dang it. Um, that's going to go away soon. Those glasses will hopefully go away. Hopefully, hopefully. I will be able to get my new pair of glasses either tomorrow or the day after. Or rather, get my new glasses. And that, that being said, it's just more so I have to actually go out there and buy new glasses and all this and that. Then I'll say goodbye to these. Um, these have been on me for like three years. And frankly, they deserve to just go away. Uh, but like with any glasses, any new glasses and whatnot, I'm not sure if you people know or not. Um, it is always good to just have this pair here uh, for the first initial like month or so because sometimes your new glasses do not work. Um, they just don't. So that sucks. Anyway, aside from that, I do want to address something that I don't think I've ever really rightly addressed um, before. And it is definitely a sensitive subject for me. I don't like to actually mention it a lot, in all honesty. And I only mention this now in more of a, a way to sort of get it out there, talk about it, and be like, I acknowledge this, essentially. Sometimes literally just verbalizing something is the best way you can actually go through things and whatnot. So by all, all means, this is not meant to be negative as it's meant to be a statement and something that I want to fix. And that's, I am overweight, and I don't like that I'm overweight. I constantly hate it, uh, in all honesty, I've always been overweight, uh, ever since I was a kid. I never, never liked it at all. It's always been a rather sensitive subject for me, and I always am somewhat glad that my friends kind of dismiss it, although they don't always do that. But for the most part, uh, it's not something I like to actually pay attention to because I am not fond of such a situation of me being overweight. And it's not just, um, I'm overweight and that's it. It's, I've always been this. I've never been skinny. I've never felt that whole entire thing. And it's always been a very aggravating point for me always 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 has been and there's been a lot of effort for me from time to time to like try new things and uh, make sure that I'm I can like lose the weight and whatnot but with the new estrogen and whatnot it does make things harder and that is that's a simple case in point uh, estrogen does not want you to lose fat it just doesn't so get rid of it getting rid of it is very hard in comparison to when you have testosterone and whatnot and you don't tend not to lose that body fat very very easily so it's a soggy situation in the fact that you know i'm taking estrogen so if i take estrogen that means that i'm also allowing myself to basically hold on to all this fat and the sad truth is is that i've been eating healthier than i have been within these last few years and that's just something that's had to happen like i'm not eating healthier because I actually want to, but because I'm somewhat forced to. If, if you all remember way back when I actually got into a really bad case of uh, acute bronchitis and it damaged my lungs significantly so, that if I ate so much salt, uh, it would be very bad for me in comparison. Um, like, I'll, I'll cough a lot and whatnot and, and do things like that. But uh, nowadays, it's, it's calmed down a bit so I could start eating more of my salty foods that I want to eat. But the way that I do a lot of things, it's, um, I have a very complicated system of 
how much salt I could actually eat in comparison. And I know it sounds weird that I have a complicated system for it instead of just omitting it. But it's just enough for me to actually enjoy something because um, when it comes to these kind of things, you want to be able to eat in moderation. And I do have a set of rules that I do for myself that essentially allows me to eat um, salty foods when I can, eat potatoes when I can. And it sucks because for a large majority of it, it's literally just I can't eat french fries as much as I used to. And I love french fries. I really do. It makes me so sad because, like, largely I can't eat french fries now. So I have to stick to a very, very, very strict thing about that. I was also um, made more aware and given more clarity on what I could do when eating hamburgers. Because I love hamburgers. So I'm not going to stop eating those. I'll tell you that much. That will never happen. I will die, will clog arteries if I have to. Um, but the bread, the bread in the hamburgers is actually part of what makes you fat. It's just because bread is not as easy to digest and such like that. So I started taking out just like one of the little slices of bread on my thing because I still like eating it with bread. But hey, that's one less bread in comparison. And it's not like I eat a whole bunch either. I really don't actually eat a whole lot. I never have. Uh, in comparison to most other people that are would be classified in my way, I would say I just ha I just don't. I'm not that big of an eater of that, and I've only recently gotten into eating a lot of sweets. And admittedly enough, um, I don't necessarily like it, but it's something that kind of combat the whole entire. I can't eat a lot of salt, so if I can't eat a lot of salt, I'll eat a lot of sweet, and just like mm, these two balances don't exactly they don't help. So I just traded one thing for another thing in comparison and just it don't help. It don't help. But in a lot of ways too, I got rid of a lot of my uh, sugary diet, which was soda. And I'm very sad about that. I really, really am. Because I legitimately enough, I can't drink soda for long. Um, I could probably drink probably like half a medium, uh, medium drink from like Jack in the Box, which I think is like probably Japan's like large or something. I don't know. So like a half of a like a, uh, a drink essentially and then I just I won't do it my throat can't take it there's too much scratchiness in my throat now to actually like drink the soda like the carbonation actually hurts going down I've, I've also talked about this with um which one calls my therapist he was suggesting that it could be some sort of a like acid reflux thing or whatever which admittedly enough like it probably is. I don't know, but I don't really care either because it's just... <sighs> as much as I want that to be my vice, soda to be my vice and whatnot, it's not good for me. It, it won't help in a given situation and whatnot and just makes me sad in a whole bunch of ways. Because that was like my one vice in comparison because I don't do drugs. I don't, I don't drink. I don't do any of that stuff. I don't, I don't do that. But I do like to drink soda. I... But then my throat is just kind of like, no, you're not allowed to do that anymore. So now it's just like lemonade and water. That's essentially what I do drink now. And it makes me sad because I feel like a lot of spice of life variety and drinking is just gone to me now, especially in fast food stuff. And I just like, <sighs> sometimes I just really will not go to a fast food place because it does not have drinks for me. Like it won't have Minute Maid lemonade and things like that. And just like, I don't want to go like legitimately enough. I've, for work, I've literally uh, stopped going to Taco Bell, not because it's it's inex it's too uh, expensive, because it's not. It's actually a very inexpensive place for me. I don't mind eating there so much, but it's just, <sighs> I'm very sad because every time I go there, I swear it's a it's a fifty fifty shot that their that their like lemonade stuff is is gone. It's just it's shot completely, and just like I can't drink anything. So I'm just like. I got a drink that I can't do anything with, and like half the time I've actually legitimately just checked to see if it's actually working or not. And if it's working, then I'll, I'll get something. If not, I just, I won't. I asked to return the drink too before, can't return drinks. I mean, it makes sense, but still, I'm just sad about it. Something happened. So what does this all mean, essentially? What, is, what does this, this whole entire thing mean when I'm talking about all my little dietary things and whatnot and all that such? Just... I'm trying to be more aware of actually getting exercise. Um, and I've tried before in the past. I have mentioned before in several different streams and whatnot. I started running. 
And the reason why I actually stopped running, in all honesty, and something that uh, makes me kind of sad about it, but in all honesty, I think this is kind of the way it went, is just my lungs hurt too much. I know that sounds weird, but having acute bronchitis does not exactly make you a big fan of you coughing uh, because you're you're out of breath and whatnot and all that such. And just, it really, really does um, feel like I'm hurting my lungs more than anything else. So I kind of have an aversion to running more than anything else now when it comes to like exercise. And um, it's something that I kind of probably need to build up to, if anything else. But it is a situation that I'm aware of. It could be the fact that I am actually hurting my lungs. It could be the fact that I'm not and I just have the actual version itself. I don't know what is rightly so. But I do know that I, I don't feel comfortable with running right now. I really don't. And I did not run a lot to begin with. I was just running shortly for like, I want to say like 10 minutes across the block just to get like my stamina up and whatnot, all that such was not working out for me too well makes me sad really does but yeah that it, like getting into that that sickness really does dramatize you i will i will say that much I, I don't know what else to say about that aside from just it could be a version and just strictly under like that uh i i don't deny that one bit but it's definitely something that i feel too much and i i don't like that feeling with my lungs being really very tightly squeezed and whatnot, and let's just say that I'm very, I'm more aware of my lung situation than, than most people are, and it, and it makes me sad, because, uh, breathing whatnot, uh, sometimes it can be really hard for me, and I don't mean in the sense that, like, how to, how to explain, basically, I used to be able to talk a lot, like, like, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, real fast and whatnot, I can still do that if I'm sitting down, but if I'm standing up, sometimes I'll be very winded. And I'll start breathing like... Like after I do breaths. And this is something that I don't really realize until after the fact. I don't realize it till either someone points it out to me or till I actually go to edit my videos and whatnot. So a lot of those videos that I have where I do like lost halls and whatnot, I'll notice that I actually have a lot of shortness of breath in my actual breathing and whatnot. And it's very concerning for me and it's something that I've been trying to like not do. I'm not sure if it's just overall excitement over certain things that I do do or if it's because how I talk in, in comparison, if it's because like my lungs need to actually be like down here or something. Cause um, no okay, diaphragms, this is different, it's weird. I don't know how else to rightly explain it cause I don't know the actual inner workings. I just know that it does a thing for sitting down and standing up. So yeah. A lot of problems with that. A lot, a lot of problems, uh, for sure. Makes me very scared and very sad, but at the same time, I know I need to get checkups for things, so. Also blend of that, too, I guess. Uh, the point being is just breathing's harder for me now. Um, I'm aware of this fact. I've had it point out several times that I do start breathing hard at certain points. I don't realize that I am actually breathing harder than I am. I will tell you that right now. I could be breathing harder right now. I noticed literally this very second, I did a big breath take like that. And when that happens, I usually have to like calm down and like do that kind of stuff. So I don't know if it actually is damage to my lungs that made it this way. I do know that my lungs are damaged. Like, I have not had an x-ray whatsoever, but that acute bronchitis did a number on me. It did a strong number on me and it hurt so much that it did do that and it don't exactly help. <laughs> it don't exactly help my, my lung situation and whatnot. And it makes me sad that, it, that that's what happened, essentially. It just And it just... It was a little bit of just... It couldn't be helped a little bit of it could be helped because I should have gotten checked up sooner, but at the same time, I just didn't. It was a weird situation because it's like after two weeks and then the third week I felt kind of better. I thought I was just going to do it. But no, it wasn't happening. So I just like, just get taken care of and just, just get it done.
it sucks too because I do feel like I'm a stronger person now in comparison to how I was when I did get sick. I, I feel weird about it because like it doesn't fully seem that way. Like when I actually like go out and do things and I have this sort of harder breathing and I have to think about certain things that I do and whatnot and basically I'm getting older. I am getting older in a lot of ways and shapes and forms, and I hate it. I do hate that I'm getting older. Everybody does. No one was like, ah, oh, I'm getting I'm getting old. It's fine. Freaking Ten Mosby was shit. <laughs> no. Um It just sucks that it just it sort of crept up on me in this situation and just I could have prevented some things to make my lungs not this bad. And uh like, I know I need to get exercise, I know I need to help my body get more into shape, just so further down the road, more things don't happen. And that's that's why I'm doing this, and that's why I'm talking about it right now, because while that whole entire lung situation was a bad thing and just really made me feel like absolute terrible, talking about it more and more, feeling about it, and understanding what I have to do now, gives me more motivation for later on down the road and makes me happy about what I can do and all this such and such because I could still exercise I could still go around I could still talk I could still chat up right here I could still stand I could still walk I could still run although not run very well but it, it is something that I have to acknowledge now something that I have to make sure I eat healthier and, and do all that stuff and I don't necessarily want to live longer I don't think I've ever rightly said that, but I don't want to live longer just because I'm healthy. I really would rather eat the way that I want to eat and do all that stuff, but I do want to be able. <laughs> I, I think this is a better way to put it. I want to be as able for as long as possible, and if that means I have to exercise more so my legs are stronger, if I have to do all these things to make sure things are, are stronger for me and whatnot, I'll do them. I will definitely do them, but... I have to start applying it more and more, and that's just kind of the thing I have to go do. Just by saying these things and doing all these things. So yeah, maybe a bit of, bit of a here and there and what everywhere, all about that. But I got laid out plans again. I got I got to do the laid out plans. I got to start putting them down there. And while I don't think this actual planning and whatnot will happen anytime this month, next month I should be completely fine to start getting that going. And I'm. I'm working towards that. I'm working towards being a little bit more relaxed and, and being a bit more like, let's go towards things and whatnot. And I, I feel like I can start taking things on again. I think that'll be really good to have. So yeah. Let's hope for the best, everybody. Let's not get sick. <laughs>